Hey guys, in this video we will see how can we set up form headers, ribbons and related list in agent workspace. So I am already logged in in agent workspace as an admin. I will go to one of the forms in incidents. I will go on the top right corner and click on my profile pic and I will go to configure page. And, uh, let's modify the form header. So this is the form header section you can see where the short description is given and there are some fields shown here like major incident state priority and all. So if any of these field is blank, so the that particular field would not be displayed here. Okay, as of now all the fields have some value, so they are being so let's see how can we actually modify the form headers. I'll go to configure page and I'll go to form header I'll just click here okay so you can see the primary field here is the short description so so the short description shows uh, in bold and there are other fields called major incident priority state business service and category so if you want to suppose change something you want to update business service and instead of that you want some other field you can go here and modify that um, let's choose something else maybe active and i will up update this and i will refresh the form and instead of business service active field should be displayed here and you can see it's uh, active true so this is how we can modify the form headers and now we'll move to ribbons so ribbons are displayed between the form and the headers in this section let's try to uh, add a new ribbon i'll again go to configure page Go to ribbon and I'll try to add a new one and maybe I will name it as a uh, assign details. Okay, and I will choose the ribbon component as customer 360, so it basically gives you the details about the user you want to see here okay and i'll just submit here so here you can see primary user is coming up so i will say maybe assign to so whosoever this incident is assigned to the details of that particular user will come up so after selecting the primary user, I will select some primary fields, maybe name, business phone, email. Okay, I will now just submit it. I will go and refresh the page again. And you should be able to see a new ribbon here with the assignee details so the assignee is David Lee and the name is shown and the email address is shown so I guess there were no mobile phone details so that's why they are not shown here okay, okay let's move to our next component which is UI actions okay. so you can see resolve and save ui action here so these are the form buttons and if you click on more these are the menu items okay so we'll try to add a new form button i'll go to configure page i'll click on ui actions so it is kind of similar to how you define the actual ui actions on the forms i'll click new and maybe i'll say assign to the agent workspace. Okay, I'll give the action name as assign the 
workspace and I will add a small script maybe. So whoever the current logged in user is will be assigned as the assignee of the current ticket. Okay. And in the last you can see you can make it as a form button or form menu. I, we will keep it as form button and I will just submit it. You can have some conditions in UI actions as well. I'll just refresh the page and a new button should appear here. So you can see a new button is here and I'm currently logged in as system admin. So let me try assigning this incident to myself. So you see this incident is now assigned to system admin. So this is how we can define UI actions in Agent Workspace. Next we can also add or remove some related list. Okay, so for that I will go to configure page, I will go to related list and I will add some already defined related lists. Maybe okay, first of all I will choose a app, choose an application then we will go and add some maybe affected locations. So this particular related list should be appearing on the form now. I'll just refresh. You see a new related list has been added here. If there are any affected locations they will show up here. So these are the some functionalities which we can use to set up the agent workspace form. So try to keep it simple. If the ribbon doesn't look good, don't use it. It just depends on how the service desk agents give their requirement. Hope you guys like this video. Do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Have a great day.